I'm here to talk about global warming. Now, I'm sure that everyone has heard of it, at least once. The fact is that global warming is one of the most serious challenges the world is facing today. Signs are to be seen everywhere. The most obvious one, the most obvious one is the melting polar ice. You might have noticed that the spring came very early this year. But the dramatically rising of the world's temperature is taking away regions, unique landscapes and wildlife. And a lot of species are dying out. Like the white tiger and, and pandas and ice bears. And, well, there are too many to remember. <sighs> now, the global warming is caused the global warming is caused by discharges of carbon dioxide and other heat rising gases. These gases, are these gases are a consequence of all the fossil fuels we burn and the clearing of forests all over the world. The gases remain... No. You see, the gases... They don't... Ugh. You see, the gases remain in our atmosphere for decades or even centuries. And by burning fossils, and by burning fossils, we get oil. And as it is right now, oil is used for almost everything. With continued warming, sorry, with continued warming, the consequences will be devastating. We will have more extreme heat and draft. We will have higher intensity in our tropical storms. Like, well, if you thought, well, if you thought that one over Florida a couple of months ago was bad, then you have no idea what's coming. And because of the polar ices are melting, there will also be higher sea levels. In a lot of countries and, and states like like Netherlands and Beijing and New York and Florida, they will and, and Florida they will be underwater. And just imagine the immigrants we have in our countries right now. And then add another hun and then add another hundred million. Our fishing and farms will also be at very high risk. Now we in the industrialized countries we have we have the technology to reduce the threat of global warming by using energy more effective and, and start using other kinds such as such as solar, wind, bioenergy and, and geothermal. We take essential steps toward reducing our dependence on oil and other fossil fuels. And the best about this renewable energy is that it doesn't release any carbon dioxide at all. This is one of the most. This, that is one of the most effective ways to glo to reduce global warming, global warming emissions. <sighs> I'm gonna take this again, okay? And the best about and the best by, and the best about the renewable renewable energy is that it doesn't release any carbon dioxide at all. That and that is one of the most effective ways to reduce global warming emissions. Now, as I said, there are many ways to reduce global warming. I mean, you can do anything from sorting your garbage to buying a, a car driven by solar energy. Now, don't wait. Because there's no turning back from this. If we don't act soon, it will be our grandchildren who will pay the price of our ignorance. Thank you. Oh, and I would just like to add something, and this is something that really bothers me, and I, I, I just feel I have to take it up. <sighs> you know, countries very poor, like Asia, well, parts of Asia, and, well, Africa, and South America, bits of it. This is what bothers me. They don't use. I mean, okay. Now I'm gonna talk about. It. Now, Africa can be a bit of a century because they are the poorest countries in the world. 
the continent in the world. These people who live there, and, and I'm not talking about the people, you know, in, in Somalia and Ethiopia and what the fuck's called, but I'm talking about the countries, you know, like, inside, <laughs> so to speak. Those who are not by, by the water. These... Um, they live simply just off to nature. They don't have anything. They don't have anything. Anything to care about but themselves. And that's great. I mean, they don't use any elect electricity electricity at all or they don't have anything like paper walls TV mobile phone they don't have coke puff nada and these people whose only purpose in life is to 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 take care of the nature that they that they pressure no I'm sorry that they care about. These are the people who will pay the price. Who will, these are the people who will be punished for our mistakes and our ignorance. That is just sick. I mean, if no, not if. It's more like when. I mean, so maybe we will find something to... Maybe we will stop this global warming. But there have to be dramatically changes for that to happen. Because it's going to happen in, in the next 50 years or so. And that is not a very long time. Or we will find a way to... Like fly up and, and live on the moon. We will leave behind those people in Africa and in Asia. We will... Our egos about ourselves are so big. We won't think about them. We will just go. Just fly away. And they will be left behind. They will be punished. They... Maybe it... Sure, maybe it will be like the nuclear bomb. Or something. It was said that like Iraq had nuclear bombs. And they have came up with them now. I mean, it's taken them 60 years to to do that since the, since the first one was made in the, w war 2 and just imagine if they're going to have to stay behind and come up with a way to get out of there it's not going to happen I'm just so bothered well I think I've said what I need to say here and I just I hope that people will remember this, see it as a wake-up call, do something to save our precious planet, because it's all we have, and that's all. <laughs>